Sally Smalls. I'm gonna Sally. turn around so people can see this. Yeah, what were you saying? Sally Smalls. You guys, people like, people might watch this video and be from like Brooklyn or like they could be from all over and they're like looking at and like, this is where you live. This is what it looks like. Oh my God. Like I, your house is a good 400 feet from another person's house. I have a like, my downstairs and upstairs and sideways and back, backwards neighbors. Yeah. No, listen, these people, they, they, know what, they know what happens outside the four walls. What do you mean? They know, what, they know how the rest of the world is like, don't they? Well, they've never, there, I bet there's a bunch of people who, who would watch this video and who never went, who never drove down Seven Lakes Drive. They literally like, or they're from Arizona and like, the weather doesn't change like this. They don't necessarily see things like this. Yeah, Mendy, what do you think about all the different colors? I'm such a fan, especially as a photographer. I mean, yeah, it's like, well, well. One thing that's, one thing it tells you is that um, death can definitely be beautiful. <laughs> like, it's so beautiful, but it's, it's a. Uh, death. Yeah, it's the it's the leaves like. Dying. Well, why are you looking at his death? Why don't you just look at it as like? It's the end of a chapter. So in a way, it's, it's more a death. like a. It's gotta like rejuvenate. It's gotta resuscitate. It's gotta like. It's going into rebirth. Not like think about it as a rebirth. Way better. They're going into rebirth. hibernation. It's like a death. How about in spring? There's a rebirth. I understand, but this is part of the rebirth process. So the phoenix must go down in flames before it is reborn. Absolutely. This is the going down in flames. We're gonna like make it like a little bit more Cable. positive than it is. Yeah, let's make it more positive than just death. Like, why? Because death is a negative thing. Is it not? I don't think so. The fact that we know we're gonna die is the most motivating thing we're ever gonna have in our lives. Nothing will make you get up and move quite like oh my god. I'm never gonna be 20, like I'm only gonna be 25 for 365 days. Less. What do you mean? Now you have less. Yeah, yeah, I have less than 365 days left of being 25. That's crazy. And that, that I think it's a wonderful thing. Also, I, I do recognize that it's a very hard thing for most people to talk about. It's probably 50 days. So I, like, I don't tend to like, you know, I'm not gonna, spend a lot of time on this or whatever but I do happen to think that for people who can push past the uncomfortability of imagining what it must be like for a loved one to pass on it will give them so much more patience and grace and they'll be so much like more open to just accepting the person as it is knowing that one day you're gonna lose them and your world is gonna feel meaningless you're like when you lose a loved one the world just seems meaningless for and sometimes it could be months, sometimes it could be a couple of years, but that happens. And like, if you if you can't picture it, cool. I understand that's a very painful thought. Let's not go there. But if you can picture it, it gives you something. It gives you a gratitude for this person and a grace for this person that when they might annoy you or piss you off, you'll be a little bit more patient with them because you're gonna lose them one day, man. Like, you know? Yeah. So that's. So I don't. I don't think it's. I don't think it's a horrible thing. Or they'll lose you. Or they'll lose you. So let's just, yeah, be a little bit more patient with each, <laughs> with each other. So this is this is what it looks like when you drive through a well, community. Like, why is there no lots of buses and lots of minivans? So many minivans, and then there's like this. These types of houses are very popular in Muncie type of housing and like different communities. It's pretty it's cool. like you're in people's faces, but you're not. I mean, yeah, you definitely are. What do you mean in people's faces? Like, like everybody, With your style of housing? They're like, yeah, everybody's like in each other's lives right here. Oh yeah, you literally could have one building. It's like an apartment building in a way, but there's entrances on all sides. Yeah, every one of these buildings has And it goes up like three families. floors and there's never an, ele an elevator. 
So one family, the least lucky family, has to bring up their groceries like three flights every time they bring home their groceries. So the way I know this is because I do a lot of deliveries for my dad with the chairs. And sometimes I'll like literally be like, hey, I can't bring eight chairs up and down these three flights of stairs. It'll take me half an hour. Like, do you have anyone at home? And most of the time they do. Like, du wirst helfen mich mit der Bänkelach? The Bänkelach? <laughs> with, with the Bänkelach? And then they're like, yeah. <laughs> Yo, when I when I read this, like throw out a little bit of Yiddish like that with them, they're like, "Wait, what?" They don't want that bankaloch. They're like, "Nein, das ist mein bankaloch." <laughs> What's bankaloch? Bankaloch are chairs. You think I was making making up a word? <laughs> so funny.